Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to see macOS Ventura or macOS 13 on M1 Mac. So I am using the M1 Mac Mini. So to install this we need developer beta profile. So once you get the beta profile you will have to install this profile. So once that is installed then you get to download the macOS 13 beta. So this is the macOS Ventura that was deployed yesterday in WWDC 22. So once it is installed, the first feature that we are going to check out is using your iPhone as a web camera. Apple calls this as the continuity camera. So your iPhone's camera seamlessly connects with your Mac as a web camera. So if you are like me, if you are using a Mac mini which doesn't have a built-in camera, so this can come in handy. And also the cameras with the new MacBook or even the previous generation macbook so they are really poor so this is a great idea and i really love this and not just the camera even the microphone of the phone would be used for calling so you can use it in zoom and all other applications and if you have a triple camera setup you can even have the desk view so it synthesizes the desk view with the triple camera system with the ultra wide angle camera Another great uh, advancements that we got with the macOS Ventura is the settings app. So the settings app is completely overhauled. So it now looks like what you have with your iPhone or iPad. So on the left side you have the main list of the settings that you can change. So I can navigate to different settings like Wi-Fi. So it's a seamless uh, integration. So it just feels like you're using your iOS devices and there is no learning curve over here so as you can see it is running the macOS Ventura now so the next feature that we are going to see is stage manager so what it does is it automatically organizes your applications and windows in a single view so you get to concentrate on a single window and all the other tabs or all the other windows it will be moved to the left side so as you can notice on the left side i have all the different windows that i'll be using this even works seamlessly even if you have the dock towards your left hand side so i read it somewhere in twitter so it works so there is no issues with that but yeah it's a little bit clunky over there but definitely it works so there is no issues with that and here i can open some different applications so then we have some enhancements to the spotlight search so right now i can search for images so if i search for car photos i can get the photos of car so it's so that's a good to have feature coming to the compatibility list last year it supported till 2016 macbook pro so this year it's still 2017 and 2018 macbook air so there is some older macs that are left out and coming to the performance so it's with the m1 mac so there is no doubt it's having a really great performance so there is no difference in uh, mac os Monterey and the ventura so I, I feel it's really snappy so even with the newer features so there is uh, absolutely no bugs and I'm not using any pro applications so with the uh, inbuilt applications so there is no issues with that and I can switch between different applications instantly with the M1 Mac and that's really great and another continuity feature is you can hand off FaceTime calls and well there is one more thing so this application it's called rectangle so it's not part of macOS Ventura or something like that but I just want to show you this application it's really cool so with Windows you have this Windows snapping feature and with the Windows 11 you got a really advanced snapping feature so if you want to get that with the macOS so there is another application which is kind of paid but this rectangle it is a free application so you can use this particular application I mean like you can uh, arrange it in any way that you like and the best part is it's free and it even works on macOS Ventura and this is not any ad or something so I use this on my ultra wide display. Now let's run some Geekbench test just to make sure there is no loss in performance compared to the previous macOS 12 so with the macOS 13 so the performance is really same and even the scores say the same and it is supported even on this 2018 macbook air so if you want a video comparison with the macOS ventura on the 2018 macbook air compared to the m1 machine so stay subscribed for that video so it's coming real soon and if you want to see all the other uh, great features with ios 16 and ipad ios 16 so i'll leave a link below in the description and there also so 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, stay safe and peace.